Good afternoon and welcome into Mary's Kitchen. Thanks for joining me this afternoon. I'm making, uh, I came on unexpectedly actually, I didn't give you any uh, foresight that I was coming on here, but uh, anyway, I'm on because I'm making one of my favorite meals, which is uh, chili salmon with lemon and pak choy and rice. So I basically have my salmon here ready. A few people on here. Hi Sandra, how are you? Uh, what I like to do is I like to line my baking tray, especially if you're cooking fish because it just keeps the smell off the tray and it's easy just to clean it up afterwards. So that's a little tip for you. Just line your um, uh, tray with some foil, all right? Because uh, then it's easy to lift the salmon off as well. And of course you won't get all that smell onto your tray. So what I've done here is I've just got two bits of salmon. I put a little bit of butter on there. I've cut up a whole lemon. I love to roast lemon with my salmon because I cook my salmon on a very, very high heat, like about 200. And then the lemons all roast as well. And when you bring it out of the oven, listen, not only that's only gonna take on a high heat about eight minutes, less than that because you want a little tiny bit pink inside, not raw, not raw, but I'm not, a, I'm not one for a raw sushi fish, except tuna, I'll eat tuna, but not salmon. <laughs> um, anyway, I cut up some chili on there and I put a little dash of tarragon, uh, that just a tiny bit because it's a very, very uh, strong uh, herb. Uh, overpowering almost so not too much leave it out altogether if you're not keen on tarragon hi Lola how are you and Laura and Victoria Pamela Pam how are you so this is what I'm having for my tea tonight is uh, salmon with some lemon and I'm having rice butter rice I put a little bit of chili on there. I just love, you know me, I'm the chili queen. So that's what I'm having there. But this is the other thing that I make with it is pak choy. You might know it as bok choy. It has a lot of different names, this, but it's the same thing. It's kind of a Chinese type cabbage. Sometimes what I do is I cut it down the middle and I quarter it. But this time I found recently I've been making, I do make it quite a lot actually, I just love it. In fact, this is enough for me. Um, I make it so much uh, that I do it different ways. So I've got some sesame oil here, which you need for the flavor, just maybe a good old tablespoonful. Hey Yvonne, hi Rose, how are you? And Celeste, overcast in Alabama. Oh, it's freezing here in Scotland, absolutely freezing, I'm telling you. Karen Edwards, I haven't seen you for a long time. And Sue, Brown, hi, and Tracy, great to see you girls. Maybe because I'm on a little bit later. <laughs> I haven't got you out of bed like I normally do. So I've got, I'm just gonna heat my temperature on a medium heat here, and that's a little bit of uh, sesame oil in there. If you don't have sesame oil, you can use an avocado oil and olive oil, but I prefer to give it the Asian twist, so it's very important to use sesame oil. So who else is on? Hey, Yvonne. Oh, you like it too. I do too. I just love it. And Carmen, hi, from Northern Ontario. I need some good salmon. Well, that's what I'm having tonight, Carmen. I got it all ready here. A little tiny, tiny daub of butter. Little lemons. The lemons get beautiful and roasted. And then when you bring your salmon out, you can squeeze that gorgeous lemon right onto that salmon. It's beautiful. So I'm gonna put a few chilies, cause you know me, me and my chilies. So I'm gonna put a little bit of, a uh, couple of garlic cloves in there first. And I'm gonna put a little ginger. I haven't got any fresh ginger, so I always keep a jar of this in my fridge, chopped ginger, all right? Cause it just makes life easy. And I'm gonna put a big teaspoon of that in there. Nothing like ginger, sesame, garlic, in an Asian type dish. So I'm gonna just let that cook around there a little bit. And I'll just get my pak choy cut up. I'm just gonna cut it down the middle. Okay, and then I'm going to cut it in half again. It's very easy to cut and really requires 
hardly any cooking. I'm going to turn this down a little bit. Uh, and I'm just going to cut everything. I don't even discard any part of this. To be honest, I like the taste of it, especially the ends where it's all kind of nice and there we go. That's one. And my other one, it's just enough for me. <laughs> but I guess I'll have to share. So, and I just cut that again in half. Sometimes I cook it like that, just in the quarters, which I think looks really pretty on a plate. But I've been doing it this way lately. Um, I don't know why. I just something different to do, I guess. So I'm going to put my pak choy in there with my garlic and my ginger. Doesn't that smell nice? Have you got smell vision on? Get your smell vision turned up. And just mix that around in the garlic and ginger. There we go. The one thing I forgot for dressing it up later on is I like to sprinkle a few sesame seeds on here, but I haven't got them here just at the moment. Okay, I'm just going to turn that up a wee bit. I'm going to get some chili ready because there's some chili in this dish. I had two chilies here that were sort of past their sell-by date. Not quite, but starting to get a little bit, you know how they get a little bit wrinkly there, so I'm, I'm just using them up. Because you know me, I love my chili. There we go. There. Okay, I'm going to put a, I've got a little bit of light soya sauce. I'm going to put a little bit of light soya sauce in here. I usually use dark, but it doesn't matter. About two or three tablespoons I put in. Now, this doesn't require very, very much cooking, okay? Um, I mean, really, it only takes about five minutes or so. I like it to have a little bit of crunch in it, I have to admit. Hi, Kathy Wilson, how are you? And Brenda, Kathy Porter, hi. Oh, the hot lemon juice is delicious on the salmon. You're right. That's why I roast the lemons with my salmon. Um, it makes it absolutely outstanding. And then I've got a little bit of vegetable stock here. I'm just going to put that in, a little bit of it. And I'm just going to let that bubble away. You can see that this is, they're almost ready. And I'm going to put my chilies in here. Better cut them up a wee bit more. There we go. Yeah, chili mag. Chili mag today. It's so simple, this dish. In fact, Lucas, my manager, through in Edinburgh, he was asking me how to make He says, I bought that pak choy. He said, I didn't really like it. And I said, well, how did you make it? And he said, oh, I just steamed it. I said, oh, no. I said, you can get no flavor or anything out of it. I said, what you've got to do is you've got to make it sort of Asian style. You've got to cook it with some ginger and some garlic and some chili and some soya sauce. And I said, and then you get a really, really nice flavor. You see how lovely and green it is now? Look at that. Isn't that pretty? And what I like to do normally, I haven't got them here, so I'll probably do it later on just before I serve this, is I like to put some sesame seeds on here. I'm just going to put the lid on just let that steam away for a little bit. I'm just going to turn the heat right down. That's it in a nutshell. I got my salmon ready, my rice is on the cooker, and I got my pak choy. That's how simple it is. What? We made that in five minutes, seven minutes at the maximum. There you go. Beautiful, healthy meal. You couldn't get much better than that. Get some of that Canadian salmon there, Carmen. For sure, Canadians are well known for their salmon, that's for sure. Hey Maureen, how are you? And Sandra? And Karen? I haven't seen you for a long time, Karen. Good to see you. Mitt Julep, how are you? Good to see all you girls. Oh, from Maine, Maureen. That's nice. Oh, you're going to try your salmon in your foodie. Let me know how that turns out, Kathy. I haven't got one of those ninja foodies. My friend Gail got one the other day, uh, like an air fryer and does all sorts of things, actually. So she's having a go with that just at the moment. Kathy, those chicken wings in the air fryer are boom. 
Okay, you got the Super Bowl coming up. All right, so get making those uh, air fried hot wings for the Super Bowl. And I think the Super Bowl's in Tampa, isn't it? So I wish I was going to be there. So I am going to turn this off and just let that heat cook this a little bit more. This is probably already ready for my liking anyway. Oh, there you go. I love it. For some reason, it just absorbs everything. All the flavors just seem to go right into the stem of the pak choy. And you just get everything. Ginger, bursts of ginger, garlic, chili, little soya sauce. Beautiful. Kathy, what are you saying? Oh, Scottish and Norwegian salmon. Oh, you bought a foodie after seeing Gales. Well, maybe the two of you can get your heads together and learn how to use them properly because... Uh, I know Gail's having a little bit of fun with hers at the moment and trying it all out on different things. But hey, I gotta tell you, those, uh, those hot wings I made the, uh, with the Frank's hot sauce, it doesn't matter what kind of hot sauce you use, by the way. So what I did was I put the wings in the air fryer for about uh, uh, 10 or 15 minutes, something like that. I took them out. I mixed a whole thing of Frank sauces all through them. I put them back in the air fryer, cooked them for another 15, 20 minutes, took them back out, put some more hot sauce on them. They were fantastic. So that's it, I'm gonna turn this off because I don't want that to cook anymore. That's ready. All I need to do is heat that through when my salmon's done. Yeah, it's, uh, let me know how you get on, Kathy, with that uh, foodie. Um, Lynn Forrester, she's got one. She's an expert on it. Hey, William. I mean, Barry. I always call you William when I see your name come up. Hi, Barry. How are you? Say hi to Sandra. And Shirley, how are you? And Deborah. Nice to see you. Hey, Deborah. Nice job on the uh, soup. You made the French onion soup on Mary's Kitchen Boot Camp, didn't you? Uh, it was beautiful. You made a couple things, actually. I think you made a lemon tart as well. Uh -huh. No, I didn't use any hot sauce, Kath, Kathy, but you could put some butter in, I, you could put butter in there with your hot sauce if you want. No, I didn't, I didn't do that, but hey, why not? Butter is great with everything. Butter improves everything, <laughs> doesn't it? That's for sure. Hey, Barry, how are you? Nice to see you. Hope you're keeping well. It's cold here in Scotland. And of course, you didn't get up for your usual New Year hoo-ha, did you, this year? But maybe next year. Maybe everything will be back to normal. But anyway, I'll just say cheerio now. All right, thanks for coming on and uh, coming and seeing how I do my pak choy. I hope that gives you a really easy lesson, an easy meal to make for your supper, uh, your dinner, whatever you want to call it. We call it tea, supper, you could call it your dinner. Oh, will you try that? Yeah, Kathy, try it. Just let me know how it turns out. I mean, butter is great with everything. Butter improves everything. <laughs> oh, you're on day two of the 30-day challenge. Oh, Shirley, you shouldn't be watching this. You shouldn't be watching. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be making you hungry. Uh, I'm not doing the 30-day challenge, but I've lost 20 pounds, which I'm absolutely delighted about. Uh, continuing to fall, which in the right direction, which is great. Uh, feel so much better. Hi, Paula. How are you? Hey, Paula, good luck with your big, huge around the world walk, whatever you're doing there. I saw your medals and everything. Hi, Terry. And Pamela, how you doing? Hope you're feeling better. And Julie. And John Lynn, how are you? Good to see you. <laughs> Well, you girls that are on their 30-day challenge, good for you and your detoxing. Uh, I've kind of given up on detoxing. I just eat correctly. That's all I do now uh, and keep that up as much as possible. Listen, have a wonderful day. Have a, I'll have a wonderful evening <laughs> and uh, enjoy yourselves. And uh, I'll look forward to seeing you soon. Okay, God bless. And remember, if you see someone without a smile, give them yours. Take care now. Bye-bye.